Hello everyone and in today's video we're going to be adding audio settings to our main menu. Okay so in our final panel that we're going to be working in, in today's video we aren't really going to show off anything new UI wise so it will actually be a really quick video and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting all our audio channels and if we go in here it's done with these two nodes which you can just type in like so and you see in sound class we have all these different types of classes that you will assign your different sounds to when you're developing your games and so we're gonna make it so we can edit most of these I think we're gonna skip out this because I'm not actually sure what it is but all the rest are the type that we usually see in games but to, before we do anything we need a sound mix modifier currently all we have is this default one again I'm not really sure what that even is I'm sure it's just for some kind of example. So if we go into our content drawer, we'll make a new folder. Call it sounds. If we go in here, we go into our sounds. In our classes, we can now make new sound mixes. So we'll call this master mix. And then all you want to do is assign the mix that, and that is all you need to do. But now I need to make duplicates for the rest. So music mix. Then the was voice. The was this effects, and then I'm sure I'm missing one. Yeah, I think yeah, we'll miss out normal attack too. That seems like it fits into something else, and it's just an example. Right, so now we just need to duplicate this over five times. So here we'll have our master, then our music, voice. sound effects right, and there we have it and now usually in most games we'd see sliders but just to add a little bit of variation if you look through panels on synth we have these little oh that was we have these and if you've ever seen anything like a an amp or anything like that, it's just like the dials on there. So just to give it a bit of a different look, I'm going to use these. Oh. It looks like you do need to be very careful how they're scaled. Let's try 75. All right, and actually, I'm going to put them in a canvas. Oh, 
I'll just do it in the uh, hierarchy actually. There we go. Drag it right there in the middle. And I'm just going to quickly go through. And I'm going to put the numbers in. Just so that we can give it a bit of a different look. And make that 18. Maybe 14. And then I'm just going to quickly go through and find out where all the values are 1 to 10. Obviously, these are pointed and put the numbers in. Right, and there we have it. And so now I'm just going to give change the panel to. Volume and volume now. Or Mr. Rather. And then what we yeah, we have four. We'll just duplicate this over four times. one can be for music About there, yep. This can be for the voice. And then one last time for the sound effects. There we go, that should be about right. And then they all just need titles and then we can finally get them plugged in and we should be done. Master Music. Lastly, the sound effects. And just delete the tile. And now we just need to hook these up. Which is, just works the exact same as it does with the slider. Plug it in there, and then there. Oh, we also need to 
set the mix modifier here. So we've got to name, change the name of the sound effects one. All right, and there we have it. And just for test purposes. to our audio see we have a fire sparks audio there so there's a Q yeah and you see the side we have classes so if we assign that as a master And then we go into our level blueprint. On begin play. Two D. Get our fire cue. And. Check to see if it's leaping. Oh, yes, it is. Right, and now we should be able to test it. Oh, you can hear it, it's very loud. Oh, so it has a bit of a delay. see yeah and that's working but the one thing we do want to do before we leave it now is open up our user interface again and in the designer by default all these will be one Right, and there we have it, very simple video, but a lot of people do not know how to access the sound settings to enable it in the user interface. And we also get to have a look at a different type of UI, but it gets the same job done, but it gives us something different visually. But yeah, with that, I think this is the end of our main menu video we may add more in the future because there are still different kinds of settings to add but for now this is should be all that you need to uh, go forth with your projects in the future and just have this as a template so you can work off this and now all your projects will have the basic basic settings accessible and with that I'll see you next time